Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today is an experimentation day for me and I have my corded drill with a hole saw in it and apparently you can make a little jig that you can hook up to your lathe, which I have right here, and you can actually cut round balls on the lathe and I'm going to see if we can really do that so stick around and let's see what this is going to look like. So for this I think I'm going to use my corded drill for a couple of reasons um, and the main one being that it's got a nice area here that I can make a carriage to sit this on because this now needs to sit like this so the first thing I need to do is make a carriage for this to sit on. Now I need to make a cradle for this drill to sit in so that it won't move around uh, and then I'll have to capture it in there uh, and I think I'll use my hole saw to make something that's going to fit that. Well, it's pretty close, but I'm going to have to enlarge that hole a little bit on the bandsaw, so I'll just go and do that quickly. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that'll work. Then I'll have the clamp. This. Well, and here's the advantage of doing a dry fit. Ideally, this drill bit, no matter what size hole saw I'm using, uh, it's always going to want to, and I'll take the drill bit out of there, of course, but um, it's always going to want to be centered um, right, sort of right in the middle of that lathe. And when I put this on it, I can see that that's, you can see that that's going to be too high. So what I need to do, I need to bring this down. So that's not too bad. It looks like I'm out. Uh, yeah, about half an inch, that's what I said, about half an inch. So now what I'm going to do, and I've got these off cuts that I uh, cut, um, I'm going to fasten, I don't know if you can see that one, but I'm going to fasten this upper board here, I'll cut this off, and then I'll have a slide like that. And guess what? I can just clamp this on, that's not going to affect anything. Um, I can just clamp that on, put four clamps on each side, it's not going to move. Uh, and I'll be able to move it just like that. So. Now before I put these mounts on here, I just want to check, and I've just temporarily clamped that down, and that goes back and forth smoothly, so that's what I wanted to see. So, so there's that mount, and you can see my clamp in there. All I'm going to do to fasten the clamp in there, I'm just going to drill a couple of holes through here, uh, and just put these bolts through uh, and that'll easily hold that and it'll clamp it down nice and tight. Oh, there it is. All right, now I need to take the drill bit out of the end that just pulls out on this one. There we go. We don't need that in there. All right. Okay, let's see if this fits. Well, there it is, if you can see between all the clamps. Um, that works amazingly well. I'm pretty impressed. That didn't take that long to make. Okay, all the clamps appear to be nice and tight. 
Uh, I've put some wood in the lathe. You can see I've knocked the edges off. I'm going to turn the dust collector on because I don't know how much dust this is going to throw up. Everything's aligned, so uh, let's give this a test here. Well, it turns out it's not throwing up so much dust after all. Um, and I just changed the camera angle so you can see this a little bit better. There we are. There's a rough ball. And it is pretty rough right now, but uh, with a little bit of sanding, I think if I turn the lathe up to a higher speed, uh, let's try that and see what that does. Okay, that's quite a bit faster now. Let's try that and see what that does. Well, I see it's burning a little bit in the corners, uh, which this one didn't, so maybe not, maybe you do need to go at a slower speed. Uh, but even so, it's still pretty rough in there, so um, it doesn't look like putting it to a faster speed is going to make a difference. It looks like it works just fine at a lower speed, and that's all it is. And all you need to do now is to sand this. I'm going to do that a little bit just so we can clean that up. And that does clean up pretty. You can still see some scoring on it, but... It doesn't, it doesn't take very long. I, was just, I wasn't even a couple of minutes doing that. The sandpaper's a little on the large size, but uh, yeah, that's cleaning it nicely. You can see the grain, there's quite a bit of grain in this Gary Oak, but uh, look at that. You can make a ball with a lathe and a hole saw. <laughs> So I just wanted to talk a moment about bits. This is the bit that I'm using to make the ball with. Uh, and you can see how aggressive the teeth are. Very, very aggressive. Got quite a hook on them. And it cuts holes just great. Uh, but for this kind of thing, it may be too aggressive. H had I, if this, this is an old, old hole saw that I have, I can't use it because I can't take the bit out of the center. And also it's warped, it's, it's bent. So instead of spinning, it wobbles, so you can't really use it. Um, but if I were going to do this more, I would take these teeth here uh, and re-grind them more, grind these teeth more like this and probably make them more pyramid shaped. Uh, I would try that and see if that would uh, make a little bit uh, less uh, aggressive cut uh, and make a little bit finer ball. Well, that concludes my video for today. Making balls on the lathe using a hole saw and a drill. But I was thinking as I was doing this, what if I laminated some walnut between a piece of holly uh, so you have the dark, light, dark. That would look pretty cool. Something I might try in the future. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.